Welcome back again everybody. This week I'm going to start a series regarding coinsurance. This is a widely misunderstood term uh, by most folks who buy property and casualty insurance, but it's also a term uh, that is prevalent in all homeowners and business policies. Uh, it's, it's, it goes by several names. Uh, co-insurance clause or the co-insurance penalty. This generally refers to business policies. And the same term when we're, when we're referring to a homeowner's policy is called insurance to value. They both mean relatively the same thing. Uh, co-insurance is a clause in your homeowners or your business policy to prevent people uh, from underinsuring their homes or their business in order to save on premium money. All premiums are set by the actuaries according to the assumption that 100% co-insurance is in place. In other words, you have 100% of your property in terms of the building. You have the building insured to 100% of its replacement cost. But many times, insureds have different ideas in trying to save money, and so they want to insure the building for as little as they can get away with, but still have the replacement cost uh, clause in effect so that if they took a large loss, uh, their building and the contents would be replaced. So this is what insurance companies write into their policies that most people are unaware that these clauses are in their policy and so uh, there can be uh, some problem with this. In practical terms the co-insurance deals with the concept that the, if the insurance fails to keep their promise to adequately insure their premises uh, to a hundred percent of the value, then if they fail to do this and there's a large loss situation, then in, in, in effect the insured becomes a co-insured with the insurance company and so they share in that loss. You might relate to it as claims uh, settlements uh, based on a prorated basis according to how you had your your building insured. So the co-insurance on a homeowner's policy is generally required to be at 80 percent. In other words, let's just say if you have a $300,000 uh, home, then you need to have at least 80 percent in order to meet the replacement cost. So that would be $240,000 insurance on the home. And if you do not carry that, then uh, you are subject to the co-insurance penalty. On business insurance, on the co-insurance clause, on business policies, those generally can be for 80% all the way up to 100%. And these days, quite frankly, I'm seeing more and more of these going to this 100% situation. In other words, the insurance company is requiring the business owner to keep their content or their building and their contents insured to a hundred percent replacement cost in order to fulfill a replacement uh, at the point of a loss. So this is where it becomes very very important uh, to periodically have a brand new cost estimator done on your home or your business in order to make sure that you fulfill the requirements of the coinsurance uh, clause within your policy. Now in the next two series we're going to go into more the just kind of giving you the broad based philosophy of what the coinsurance clause is about in today's segment. But in the next two segments we'll get down into the nitty gritty of how it actually works and some of the surprises that people get at the point of a large loss claim when they find that they are not meeting their coinsurance requirements. So until then, this is Greg Holton signing off.